What is going on guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to talk about something that I never thought I kind of would talk about and that is Supreme collaborations. I didn't really want to have this like centered around Supreme like every other fashion YouTube but this collaboration is probably the best one that I've seen for a very very long time and that is Supreme Undercover and Public Enemy. I've always loved the Supreme and Undercover collabs. I think they do really good jobs each season and incorporate the style of Undercover into an affordable price with Supreme which is really cool and I, I, I appreciate that quite a lot. I've always really been interested in Undercover and never really kind of looked into the brand as much and these collaborations kind of give me an insight and an affordability to kind of like see what I can get and of course when they have collaborated with the likes of Public Enemy as well who is literally the one of the biggest hip-hop groups ever probably well known I'm not a huge fan myself but I know the status of the group during the 80s and 90s especially in hip-hop they also had strong standing when it came to politics and I feel like their music influenced a lot of people but anyway let's get into the collaboration because I feel like it's really really good and I just want to talk about all of it so there are three jackets for this collaboration there's a Parker jacket a puffy jacket and like a work jacket the Parker and and the puffer I'm not really too interested in, it's just not my style, but I do appreciate it. I know one person who's definitely going to be getting that and that is Astro Boy himself, Elias. The top has like this really cool like graphic on the front, it's like a space age one so again not my style but I do like it. On the back it does have Fear of a Black Planet which I think is Public Enemy's third album which had Fight the Power on it so that's obviously a very political song and this contains a very strong political message. The work jacket of course just has a Public Enemy logo on the front and Fight the Power. It's really nice, I like the black one rather than like the slate colour, I think the black one is a lot more easy to wear and I do like the like graphic on the back as well. I think that's really really cool and I think they've done that on a few t-shirts as well. The puffer jacket kind of has the same graphic as the Parker. I like it. It's got detachable sleeves as well which is kind of cool and I, I just I just think it, it's a cool design. I wouldn't personally wear it that work much. I don't think it doesn't really suit my style but it'll definitely it's a great piece and I really like it. They're doing one knitted piece of this collection and they're doing a fear of a black planet like repeat logo across a knitted sort of jumper. It's really nice especially in that black and yellow kind of looks like Star Wars which is really cool and I think it's a great piece again they're doing really good pieces this year. This is my favourite piece 100% I really want this I'm just unsure what colour either black or green this is the rayon shirt with the public enemy logo on it. Oh, it's beautiful I love it it's amazing. The green one actually is probably the nicest I love it I said I wanted to bring in, bring in green into my wardrobe a little bit more and this is a great excuse for it I love it to pieces it's such a nice piece definitely going to try and get this for myself first shirt of the new of the spring summer they're also doing some matching track bottoms for this which I'm not really a huge fan of wouldn't pick them up but I kind of like the matching sets that they do and it's cool they're doing a pair of trousers also which is really really nice they've got a script down the side which says the counter attack of world supremacy and then they've got a little pocket on the side which has the public enemy fight the power logo that's on the work jacket obviously the colors match the work jacket so that's another set that they're going to do they're also doing another set it's like a sweatsuit so they've got a sweatshirt and sweatpants has the same graphic as the puffer and the parker again it's a cool graphic they do these every season the repeat graphics especially undercover with supreme they did a renaissance jacket a few years ago and they also did another one a few, like, last time but i can't remember what it was but they do like doing the matching sets especially with the undercover collaborations moving on to like the graphic t-shirts and sweatshirts the first one just has a simple logo on the front and then it has a cool public enemy logo on the back the public enemy is held inside a green skull acting like a brain it's kind of cool i like the graphic it looks really clean they're using these very similar graphics on the sweatshirt they're doing the same graphic as on the back of the work jacket which is the blow your mind and has a public enemy logo on the front and on the sleeve as well really nice piece again it doesn't have much supreme branding which i really like in a lot of these pieces which is why i'm i think i'm a bit more interested in this collaboration for the long sleeve they're doing the same logo as the sweatpants with the counter uh, with the counter attack on supremacy with the counter attack on supremacy that took about three takes to do again it's got the feel of the black planet on the back with the same graphic as on the parker i've just realized now looking back that, that graphic is the album cover and uh, that's just so bad of me but yeah I've just realized now it's the it's the album cover art logo art that's really stupid of me but yeah it's really cool to see this album art across a lot of different platforms very similar to the blood and semen they did last year with I think it was a Metallica uh, album art that they did on the blood and semen stuff so they're definitely referencing music a lot more this year the next t-shirt has got the Chuck I think it's Chuck D what it's, it's called the White House tee I think that's Chuck D in front of the White House which is really cool a classic imagery of course and then on the back they've got all the logos from the album and the group using they've used the same graphic as on the back of the sweatshirt for a front of a t-shirt here again this is a really cool graphic really nice and clean and I really like it they're doing the same graphic with the sweatshirt on a t-shirt as well which is kind of cool I really like it clean graphic obviously I know a lot of people who will want that they're also doing a collaboration with Dr Martin's putting the album art on a pair of DMs really cool collaboration 
collaboration, obviously. This was leaked as well a few months ago, so it's kind of cool to see it in actual image shot. Really nice. I know there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be able to pull this off. DMs obviously do these quite a lot with like an all over print across both shoes, and it's really cool to see. For the accessories, they're doing two kind of medallions. So they're doing obviously referencing Chuck D here with his big medallion, but it's a pouch and it has the public enemy logo across it, and then a zip on the back to put like money and coins in, I guess. And they're also doing a logo medallion, which again is obviously a same reference, little pendant. Really cool to see them do jewelry as well in a collaboration, which they haven't done before for a very long time, at least I think Supreme. So it's cool to see them doing that. This is arguably probably the coolest piece in the entire collection it is the Fear of a Black Planet rug. It's really cool. They do these weird collaborations and weird pieces with Undercover every year, usually pillows, but it's cool to see them doing rugs. I think that's really, really nice. And I know obviously the Bape heads are famous for the rug, but it's cool to see a really nice Supreme rug. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been a, been my kind of review on the lookbook and collaboration between Supreme, Undercover and Public Enemy. Uh, I'm hoping to pick up the Rayon shirt 100%, maybe like a t-shirt or something as well. I just, I, I'm not too sure which one though, because they are really, really nice graphics throughout. But yeah, the, the Rayon shirt is a must and I'm going to try my best to get that shirt because it's beautiful. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe and share. I'm slowly making my way to, to 200 subscribers, so if you can get me there by the end of March, I will love you forever. So let everyone know I need those subs. It just makes me feel so good seeing that number slowly rise up. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video on Sunday.